What is going on, y'all? We are going to learn about area. So today is going to be a lot of review, but I think there's going to be some tricks in the examples that you might be a bit surprised by and might not have seen before. But I think it's going to be mostly review for this video. So uh, this video I'm titling, it's going to be the area of the normie 2Ds because, uh, like I said, it's review. So I'm going to call these the normal ones because they're kind of the most common ones. So let's go ahead and go to the first example. Let's say we got a square. So what is the area of a square? The area is equal to the side length, which is S squared. And that's pretty much it. So what we got to do is we got to find the side. Let's go ahead and draw this. We have the area of a square. So let's draw a square. And it has perimeter eight feet. So a square has all four sides the same. So that means each side is two feet. So the side length is two feet. So the area is going to be four feet squared. Simple enough, I hope, simple enough. Let's go ahead and move to the next one. So let's say we got a rectangle here. So we're gonna find the area. Well, the area for a rectangle is the, uh, we could either say the length times the width, or some people say the base times the height. Either way is fine. Let's go ahead and find the area of this. So with rectangles, remember every angle is a 90 degree angle. So that means to find our to find our width, we're already given our length. This is our length. Uh, to find our width, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So we can say square root of 6 squared, this is c squared, is equal to 2 squared, this is a squared, plus the width squared which would be b squared. So let's go ahead and solve for w here. So we have square root of six squared, that's gonna be what? That is gonna be, sorry, not two, it's gonna be six. And it's gonna be equal to two squared, which is four, plus w squared. So go ahead and subtract four from both sides and you get two equals w squared. So, if we square root both sides to get rid of this pesky squared, we'll get that w is equal to the square root of two. So this thing right here is equal to the square root of two. <laughs> so to find our area, we just gotta multiply our length and width, so it's gonna be two times square root of two. And that's gonna be our area. So let's go ahead and move on to parallelograms. So now the area of a parallelogram is gonna be quite similar to the area of a rectangle. In fact, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be the, equal to the base times the height. So in this case, we got a pretty chill problem. Our base is equal to 10, and then our height is equal to six. So our area is equal to 60 because 10 times 6 is equal to 60. So that is it for parallelograms. All right, we are going to move on to triangles now. So triangles, as you probably know, uh, the area is going to be one half the base times the height. So in this case, our base is seven, and, sorry, let me put this in green. Our base is seven, and our height is four. So we can say our area is equal to one half times four times seven. Well, uh, four times seven is 28, and one half of 28 is 14. So our area is going to be 14. And I know I'm kind of rapid firing through these, uh, through those past few because they were kind of review. So now I'm going to go a bit slower on these because these I think might be newer to you. 
So what about rhombuses? What if we have a rhombus? So a couple things to remember about rhombuses is that the diagonals bisect at a, or they intersect, sorry, at a 90 degree angle. So what we can do is we can use this uh, to make a right triangle. If we look right here, this is a right triangle. So we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find each uh, diagonal. So let's get three squared plus, let's call this x. x squared is equal to five squared. So three squared is nine, x squared is just x squared, and five squared is 25. Subtract nine from both sides, you get x squared equals 16, and square root both sides and you get x is equal to four. So this is four units. And now the, the, the area formula for rhombus is gonna be one half times the length of each diagonal. So these are just the lengths of the diagonals. And you also have to remember that if you have a rhombus, the diagonals bisect each other also. So since this is three, this is also gonna be three. And since this is four, this is also gonna be four. So let's plug these into our area formula. So we get area is equal to one half. Our first diagonal is gonna be three plus three, which is six. And then our second diagonal is gonna be four plus four, which is eight. So six times eight is 48. And then we have one half of 48. So that means our area is gonna be 24. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to kites. So the area of a kite is going to be shockingly similar to the area of a rhombus. It's gonna be one half the length of the diagonals multiplied together. So in this case, in our example, we're given the lengths of the diagonals. We're given six, this is diagonal one, and 12, this is diagonal two. So all we have to do is plug them into the formula, <clears throat> one half times six times 12. Uh, so six times 12 is 72. We have half of that. So that's gonna be equal to 36. <clears throat> we got one more type of shape to go. The trapezoid. And there are two different types of uh, formulas for this. So I'm gonna highlight both of them. The first one is you can take the sum of the bases, so base one plus base two. This is just adding both of the bases. And then we can multiply this by the height and divide this by two. So this is one formula for the area. So let's go ahead and apply this to this first example. We have base one here, seven, and then base two, which is 12, and our height, which is four. So let's go ahead and do, plug this into our formula. Seven plus 12 times four divided by two is equal to our area. So this four and this two, we can reduce this to two and one. So now at the top we have seven plus 12, which is 19 times two is equal to our area. So our area is equal to 38. Now the other area formula is similar it's if you're given the median. So uh, if you're given the median, you can say it's the median times the height divided by two. So let's go ahead and plug this in. We got our median is four, our height is three. So our area is equal to four times three over two. So four times three is equal to 12 divided by two is equal to six. 
that's going to be all for the area of the normie 2D figures.